So in the latest update, they added all kinds of stuff for us to collect. And today, I'm going to be showing you how to get every single one of these things, including like the fastest ways to get candy and all kinds of other good stuff like that. So here we go. And for the people that don't know, in this update, they added, I'm pretty sure everyone knows, they added an island, a little Christmas island to every single sea. So whichever sea you're in, there's going to be an island where you can get all kinds of Christmassy stuff. Now, when you walk in here, first and foremost, you'll be greeted by Sam. Santa Claus. This man right here will sell you three different things. An elf hat for 250 candies. Pretty good deal. But honestly, the elf hat is just the worst version of the Santa hat. The Santa hat's the better one. And of course, he also sells the Santa sleigh. In total, all of these items will run you back 1,750 candy. Then if you move on into the, into the main area right here, <laughs> there's of course going to be other elves. So here's the greedy elf. The greedy elf will pretty much sell you fragments. So these are are actually things you might want to buy a bunch of times. Keep in mind, though, that they are going to get more and more expensive the more often you buy them. So don't expect that it's going to be a great deal forever. And then we, of course, also have the Magic Elf. Now, this man right here can make your dreams come true. Give you double experience for 15 minutes, stat refunds, race rerolls, all kinds of good stuff if you're not spending a lot of Robux on the game. And right here in the middle, you will also find yourself this big countdown timer. Now, right here in the middle, every hour in real life time. So right now for me, it's 1123 in the morning at 12. The next present will drop, which is exactly in 36 minutes, of course. Now in this present, you can find yourself all kinds of good stuff, including every single fruit in the game. It's all just random chance. It's like a free random fruit dealer. Very, very nice. But there's also a very, very, very small chance of getting an item also called the holiday cloak. So yeah, this is actually something that you can get in one of these random presents. And it really looks like Santa's coat, so really cool in my opinion. Now, currently, I only have 300 candy. Ah, I'm so poor. So yeah, I actually want to figure out what is the absolute fastest way that I can get myself candy so that I can get all of the new stuff in the update. So yeah, the way you actually get candy is pretty much simply by killing a bunch of enemies. Now, if I were to kill these guys right here, there's a pretty good chance that he will actually drop me some candy. So that got me thinking, what if I go back to the first sea and I just just kill a bunch of enemies in one hit. Is that gonna be able to give me, I don't know, like a couple of million candy? That would be amazing. So here we are back in the first sea. Now, you know what? Let's just try it out right away on these guys right here. The Wrath of Sham. Okay, that guy did not give me candy. This guy also did not give me candy. Now, if I remember correctly, the reason that this is actually gonna be, I was tricking you guys. I knew this was not gonna work. It's because these guys are too low level. Generally, if they are actually far below your level, if you kill these guys, they're just simply not gonna give you any kind of a reward other than obviously a little bit of money and experience, which they always do give you that. So yes, what, wherever you are in the game, whether it's the first C, second C, or third C, as long as you're killing enemies that are around about your level, you will be getting rewards. Now, fun fact, bosses also give you rewards, but they actually give you a bunch extra. Now, I'm gonna just, just, just to be safe, try killing one of the first C bosses to see if he's actually gonna give me a drop. So there's Bobby. Hello, Mr. Bobby, you will uh, die. And yeah, he does not give me candy. Bosses are supposed to actually guaranteed give you candy. Obviously, he didn't, so that means that that's just not working. So yeah, let's head back to the second C because right here, we're not gonna be able to end any candy at all. <laughs> all right, so back we are. Uh, now let's actually, let's head back to the area that I'm supposed to be killing the enemies at, which is gonna be the Snow Mountain, 700 meters away. All right, so yeah, now that we're here, we can actually start killing uh, either one of these guys. I can actually kill these guys here on the right. So these will give me a random amount of candy every single time I kill them. So let's say I kill these guys right here. Ah, okay, I'm being, I'm being, I'm being monkeyed. Don't monkey me, you monkey. Stop doing the monkey. Cheese. All right, there you go. So as you can see, one of them dropped three candy and one of them dropped only one. So yeah, it's totally random how much candy you're gonna get. Each and every single enemy you kill drops, I'm pretty sure between one and three. I also have double drops turned on though. So um, if you don't, uh, that might be a little bit different. But to be honest, if I were to have to be honest with you, I think the fastest way to actually get candy is simply grinding bosses. Unless you have the booter fruit. If you have the Buddha fruit, just run around killing a bunch of enemies like you're a blender. And obviously that's going to just make you a crap ton of candy. But for anyone else that has like the soul fruit or sorry, spirit fruit, bosses is probably going to be the fastest method, especially if you can kind of hop between the bosses, because I think Vegeta should still give me a, a drop. 
Okay, he does no longer give me any drop. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> I actually thought he would still drop me stuff because not that long ago, I'm pretty sure he would have. But yeah, now we're actually going to have to head to the uh, the smoke arena, the smoker, the smoking idiot uh, over there to actually to, to get some reward. But yeah, for me, it's pretty easy killing a boss. Generally speaking, it's going to give you a crap ton of mastery. And it's going to give you up to, at least in my case, because I have double enabled, 11 candy. I think that's the highest I've seen, 11 or 12. Now, of course, uh, if you don't have double, uh, double drops, enabled um it's just gonna be a uh, half you know it's, it's pretty simple math <laughs> so if i i get like 12 then you could probably get up to six so yeah whenever i kill this guy let's see what he's gonna drop me what are you gonna give me mr smoker give me the, give me your good stuff give me give me your candy oh we got 13 yeah so uh maybe it's like up to 14 or something that's really good so yeah guys i think actually grinding bosses is a very 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 fast way of getting your candies now to prove that to you currently i have 355 candy I'm gonna see how much candy I can grind in like a couple of hours. All right, guys, you know what? I'm actually changing my mind. The fastest way to actually get candy is by simply just killing enemies in your level range over and over and over again. Look at that, two candy, one candy, two candy, one candy. There is so much candy to be gotten. It's crazy. It goes so fast. There you go, another candy. I just got like 10 candies and it took me like, I don't know, like 10 seconds to get. It's crazy fast. Now, especially if you have something like a Buddha fruit or a fruit that's just really, really good at grinding. Bro, make sure that this is the way you get your candies. It is so much faster. All right, so sometime later, after a lot of level grinding, guess what, baby? We finally have ourselves enough candy to get anything we can imagine. So first things first, let's get ourselves the very first item. Let's get ourselves the elf hat. Yes, I would love to buy this item. Oh, baby, there it is. Now, I look like a little cute elf. <laughs> now, it looks very silly, but the elf hat is actually a very good accessory to have. It's really good. And let me show you exactly why that is. So let me talk to the nerd and let me show you why it is so good. So this accessory grab you 20% faster run speed. Ah, that's pretty good. 10% extra damage on melee and sword attacks and also 5% melee and sword attack cooldown, which is amazing. Currently, the accessory I've been using a bunch is actually the choppa. Actually, wait, no, the, 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 the party hat. Sorry, not the party hat. The top hat. Here, look, this gets you 3%. Uh, three? That's disgusting. And then 10% cooldown reduction. But dude, that elf hat is actually actually really really good so for now let me throw it on let me go back to the north pole though and let me show you every single one of the other things that we actually have here so next up let's switch it up a little bit let's check out the brand new boat the sleigh now previously we've had a sleigh in the game but apparently they've completely revamped it so if i spawn this in there it is sleigh where'd it go oh look at this thing dude it now looks totally different and honestly in my opinion it looks really really good now it's actually quite fast uh i don't know exactly how fast it is but honestly this is probably much better than any other boat that you can get in the game for free so uh yeah the only other boat that i can think of that's faster is the um uh, the robux boat the the, the 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 flame boat you know the one i'm talking about the enforcer so yeah dude this thing oh i love the little music it plays as well dude imagine it's like midsummer and you have to listen to the freaking the jingle bell still come on it's just cruel for blocks for its developers anyway let's buy ourselves the santa hat the final accessory that we can get our hands on it let's just say that this santa hat is honestly and i'm not saying this just to get you hyped up one of the better accessories in the game there's like a couple accessories that are like properly high-end pvp viable and the santa hat is one of them all right here we are hello mr nerd this accessory oh boy this accessory grants you 30 percent faster run speed really good 12.5 percent more damage on blocks fruits or sword attacks 400 energy and 400 health so yeah pretty much the the, the 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 santa hat is like the same thing as the elf hat it's just a little bit more catered towards uh blocks fruits users and sword users but dude it is absolutely amazing now sadly even though i've literally opened probably about like 40 presents i still haven't been able to get the the brand new christmas coat so so yeah, guys, if I manage to get my hands on that, I'll make a full video about it. But yeah, with that, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. And I'll see you all in the next one, boys. Peace!
Peace out, everyone. Subscribe if you haven't already. And bye-bye. This, this video took me, like, forever to make because uh, a lot of grinding to get the candy. <laughs>